Hi everybody, welcome to today's tutorial. Uh, hope you all are having a good time. So today we're going to look have a look into creating this basic conceptual uh, illustration in which you can show your design representation and your basic forms. Uh, even uh, so, this is basically uh, done in SketchUp and a lot of Photoshop. So let's just get right into it. So we need to export four different type of images from this SketchUp uh, parallel projection view. Those include a hidden line export, shadows, an x-ray export and a basic v-ray to render. So let's let's first set up a basic v-ray render. So in the v-ray uh, render case we just have to set the basic materials, uh, default materials in SketchUp and go to the v-ray settings. So I always set the render first so that we get enough so that it renders at the background and we get enough time to export our different line works so let's go into the v-ray settings yeah so in the v-ray settings first of all just you have a look at your uh, render output set it to custom and select that get viewport aspect so that you get exactly the same viewport ratio as that already there in SketchUp so we can easily overlay the images so that's all we just after that just hit the render button so that we get a basic render so let it render in the background after that let's just let's start exporting all our uh, images that we need for uh, the overlays so first we need a hidden line export so just let's go uh, and export that by just changing the style to hidden line mode and let's save it in the desktop already create a folder let's name it as hidden line and let's save it all right now let's go to the next option the next next overlay that we need that is a basic texture image without any line work on it so let's go off the edges and let's export it quickly and i'll just call this as text now for the third image we need to export an x-ray image that uh, we can use for an overlay so go to your face style click on x-rays go to hidden line sorry just go to hidden line then do the x-ray thing after that off your guides off all your uh, the shadows and only on the profiles and edges let's export this and we'll call it x-ray all right now for the for the final export that is your shadows so on all your shadows and off the x-ray and all the other lines so that we get a clean shadow that we can overlay on the images. I always export the shadow separately so it's very easy to adjust in Photoshop without messing up with the lines. Now the last thing is the render by this time since we have, by, we have exported all the line work the render will be done saves us a lot of time let's just save this basic render I'll just call it render and save it into the folder now that's all guys from sketchup now let's go right directly into photoshop okay let's take the basic texture image into photoshop all right just close the other one okay so this is a base image let's just make a copy Control j then first of all let's set a hue saturation layer you can either go and adjust it to a, your preferred settings or just copy the settings that I'm using so select the colorize mode very important select the colorize tick box tick, make sure it's ticked and turned on so that you can use you change all the colors on or the throughout the image and I'm going for a look that's in more of the yellow side you can you can play around and make looks of your own so I'm just trying out a different kind of shade of yellow just seeing what looks good don't restrict yourself to only this color, this color palette you can try out different color shades according to the needs of your presentation or your design uh, color palette so yeah I think that looks a little good I just change the saturation a little bit more just adjusting and checking out what looks good right now that looks good now let's take the other images in and just take the hidden line image 
I'll uh, I don't want the black one so I'll invert it and I'll set it to screen now after that I'm uh, going to take my other exports let's bring in the render one so this is just to get a bit of depth into the image I'll set it to multiply and lower down the opacity to around 30 to 25 percent you can adjust it to your requirement let's bring the shadows now all right now let the shadows more we have to just set it to multiply so you get only shadows and all the white gets hidden now take the x-ray do the similar blend mode set it to multiply all right so this is kind of the base image that we have now just just take the white hidden lines right on top so that we get a white overlay the very defined image all right now what I'm gonna do is remove the white background from our basic uh, base layer so I'm just setting up a layer mask and removing the white background now I'll just add a layer underneath all of these layers and give it a very yellowish color maybe not this bright we'll just yeah reduce the practice so it becomes less it becomes less saturated you can play around and you know, so change the color according to what you guys need I think this one looks good all right now let's export a, uh, a texture onto the image I've already saved up a grunge texture you can easily get them on Google just Google search grunge g-r-u-n-g-e and then set them to overlay mode after that when you're kind of happy with the grunge style that you have reduce your opacity so that it's not so dominant on the image now let's crop the image to a, a smaller size so that we don't have a lot of leftover yellow spaces on the sides now this looks like a good composition just adjust the grunge a little bit more all right now i'm gonna i'm gonna add uh, some shapes so just select your shape tool and uh, let's add some shapes just to add some variety to the image before that i'll just add a little bit of levels onto the base image so let's make it a little bit brighter just do the settings you can add even some curves or levels just to get the right tones in your image it's uh, basically this is a personal choice personal preference so just adjust according to what you need all right so now what we need to do is actually we can even remove these uh, high density of white lines that you see or on these areas that are creating a little bit of a, uh, a concentration of white color so just add a mask to your hidden line layer reduce your opacity to around five percent and slowly mask it off so that it's not so dominant in the image all right okay now let's see let's add a shape to the image so that it can create some kind of interest so remove the stroke let's select a brown shape that goes with the shape so you, you see that the texture is even falling on that shape creating very interesting graphic all right that looks nice now let's just finish it off with the color lookup so what i'm going to do is go to the effect tab add a color lookup and try out different looks i like the one in the abstract tab called uh, blue sienna i guess the sienna blue yes now we can just reduce your opacity to whatever you like i like it at this stage around 40 percent let's add a curves just to you know adjust the tones yeah that looks good all right so that's kind of the graphic that you can easily create in under 10 minutes just from your sketchup exports a very cool looking graphic let me know what you guys think more videos like this coming soon guys thanks for watching